welcome back to Off the Rack Rebellion, the podcast where we talk about costuming and how to take everyday finds and incorporate them into your everyday cosplay. Now, it looks a little different today. Can anyone see the difference? <laughs> We've got a guest. We have Woo! our first guest. Uh, before we do that, uh, I'm Billy Maddox. You can find me at Billy Maddox on Instagram. Come say hi. Kate. I'm Kate Ryder. Yeah, you can find me at One Scavenger's Wardrum on Instagram every day, all day. And then... And yes. our guest, Krios. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm Krios. Go. That's my, uh, my Star Wars name. And you can find me at Noisy Morning. And Instagram. why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do on Instagram? Mm. I, I um, post pictures of architecture and details and uh, costumes, and it's all, um, I don't know, rather esoteric. Uh, and I feel like I've, um, you know, made like a, a little niche for myself. And uh, I'm fortunate that a, a lot of people have accepted it and think that it's cool. And I'm having fun. and. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I do. Yeah, and if you haven't found Noisy Morning on Instagram, you're missing out because mm -hmm. because that like that vibe that you bring is so good. It's so incredible. I don't know how they couldn't have found me because you guys mentioned me like Talk the next three yeah. hours. So I'm like, <laughs> gosh, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> Well, we have to, I mean, the backstory and then like we should, I think we've mentioned this, but if we haven't, we should, is that originally in when, you know, the idea of a oh, podcast prime time COVID. three of us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was like, it was like, hey, the three of us originally found each other somehow through Instagram around the same time. Right. And then. Mm -hmm. We're all kind of doing that Spider-Man pointing at each other, right? Being like, no, you're so cool. No, you're cool. Are you doing yes. like, um, yeah. And then I think that like that, the, the podcast idea spun out of the three of us. So, yeah. Which was like over a year ago now, I think. It was like uh, a year and a half. It was a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. It was like a long time in coming. So that's where the yeah. name of the podcast came from and everything. Like it was, mm -hmm. yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> we oh. just didn't know how to do it, and here we yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> That's for our first guest, it had to be you. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. yeah we're, uh, we're glad I, you could I mean, make it. You know, listen to every episode. So. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We're huge fans of you. I know. We're, do one. we're you still are, doing that, like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rios is our, is our resident uh, mission uh, assigner. Um, mm -hmm. I think as mm -hmm. part of your everyday life, you very much love architecture and you have taken it upon yourself to find dope places and <laughs> around everyone's uh, zip code and area where they live so that they can go yes. and take cool pictures and much appreciated. Always. Well, it's it's selfish, really, because these are all just places where I want to go. So like, well, <laughs> maybe one day, you know, like all, all of the Burgundy Squadron meetups that are happening, uh, you know, yeah. I'm like, hey, let me do that. Yeah, so, no, totally. So what are we talking about today? I know. Like, Court, you wanted to talk about different fabrics I wanted, to, I wanted to talk about different fabrics um synthetics and mm -hmm. uh, patterns um nice. because you know so when i think when everybody thinks of star wars it's a it's a very you know natural fiber monochromatic uh kind of look when it comes to the main characters as well as the the denizens um and you only really find uh you know kind of synthetic or, you know, loud colors or, um, you know, not even, I mean, so patterns aside, like loud colors are in uh, Dayu, uh, sometimes in Coruscant, um, you know, like the bar scene from uh, episode two, uh, two or three, I don't know which one, um, but, uh, you know, where uh, Obi-Wan goes in the, 
And the guy's like, you know, hey, you want some glitter stuff or whatever he says, or death sticks. You want some death sticks? And he's like, you want to go home and rethink your life. Yeah, so yeah lots of like, you know, bright colors and stuff in, in that scene. Overwhelmingly, you know, I don't know whether uh, the Empire has taken all of the, you know, synthetic fibers for their stormtroopers armor. <laughs> <laughs> lack of you know uh, they've uh, taken all the dyes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they took them all yeah so that's, that's what it was or, all you know about, or actually. they they also they didn't pay anybody right uh you know they just made them work and and mine and plow the fields and uh, they didn't pay them so they can't afford fresh clothes right yeah i don't know you know the empire <laughs> man <laughs> They were they, they were color. meant to be so all like bright colors, but they only could pay for the white. Yeah, right. Well, I feel like it was very much like the filmmakers coding it, right? Like kind of yeah. taking historical, like okay, like you know, mm -hmm. we're we're used to these peasants and these very kind of earthy colors and these natural fibers, and then we want to like visually code it, right? Yeah, so, true. And, and where you see a lot of like bright colors and patterns with like um, Naboo, right? Like those like the upper crust there, I think is a really mm -hmm. good example, like Amadala's whole wardrobe, right? Um, yeah, I think I think a lot of that, yeah. I mean, my, as we were talking about in the in the chat, um, so I really think that like Naboo gets into um, a lot of trim is where you see the mm -hmm. patterns. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and then, you know, any type of pattern that's in the, the garment itself is kind of, I, I see that like the pictures that I've been looking at, um, you know, it's it's kind of a small pattern, so it gets lost mm -hmm. in the overall uh, cut of the outfit. Um, yeah, yeah, it could so, just read as a solid color because it's unless yeah. you you know get really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which doesn't translate well to the screen, right? You know, but right. like when we when we're geeking out on you know fabrics and and details, like yeah, yeah we see that stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. I just, I think we have an opportunity um, as like little C cosplayers to uh, incorporate some, some patterns into our outfits. And I would like to try that. I would like to also see that from other people. I think that um, I don't want to say, you know, I'm not going to be a naysayer because like, I love everything that's out there. Um, but it is, you know, it follows a certain archetype and, and a certain color palette. Um, and then I think that there's room for more diversity. Yeah. W did Absolutely. you watch The Acolyte? Yes. Yeah. What yes, did you think did. of the woven fabric? I freaked out. Like, with um, the witches, I, they you know, know, woven fabric. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought that they were awesome. But then again, you know, it's still like pretty monochromatic, even though mm -hmm. like, you know, they're, they're all in that purple color family. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think you get um, kind of a diversity through texture, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, fantastic. Uh, but I don't know, I'm like in my pocket, I'm holding, uh, you know, Bezzy Natal, uh, who is mm -hmm. from episode eight, The Last Jedi. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, who had this? Oh, no, yeah, no, she's no, she's from the Force Awakens. That's what. Oh, we she get was. To, that's um, right. She was in Maz. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Which was okay. when those photos first dropped. That's what made me. I mean, obviously, uh, Poe Dameron uh, dashing. I fell in love immediately. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, gave me feelings I didn't know I had. Right. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but that one sort of double page spread that they did yeah. i think it was uh, annie leibovitz that shoots yeah, and she always shoots them yeah and mm -hmm. um incredible new aliens new sort of garments and she was and she was in there and a real sort of like outlier with with her mm -hmm. with her look and 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 the lines and and mm -hmm. the pattern that that they used it was very kind of like just this weird sort of harlequin kind of situation yeah. but um up to no good which i thought was amazing yeah so, yeah i like i don't know i i like her character i like her uh her cohort gromgar also like mm -hmm. i would love to do a 
Grumgar cosplay and just like walk <laughs> around like super huge. But yeah. uh, I think that would be a total blast. Um, but like her outfit, you know, so they, if you um, look at the details of it, so they call it uh, baffle weave, uh, oh, which okay. so it's supposed to like camouflage her from, uh, you know, sensors. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh wow, my God, I didn't realize that. This is like, um, so uh, World War One and World War Two. Uh, Navy, like the British Navy and the U.S. Navy, used a kind of camouflage called dazzle, mm -hmm. and it's just like this um, black and white um, asymmetric uh, type of that they thought would confuse the enemy, so they wouldn't know like which way the ships were going uh, mm -hmm. or whether they were coming or going. Um, and so it's just it's really fun, interesting little historical tidbit, but. Um, right. to, to kind of translate that into an outfit and, you know, have it be this kind of same type of camouflage thing, uh, mm -hmm. I thought was really cool. And if you look at her, uh, fingertips, she has like gloves mm -hmm. just on the fingertips. Uh, so like she doesn't leave any fingerprints or anything. Mm -hmm. like, oh, little nice. details, man. Yeah. Right. I, I never noticed the fingers and I do love that, yeah. that they use this concept that was taken from world war one, world war two, when so many of the props have been taken from it. And so like the mm -hmm. ponchos and stuff like that, yeah. it's like really, it fits right. That they were like, let's use another little thing from that. I mean, that's my, that's, that's my explanation for it. I don't I mean, know if that's actually it, true. It, but. It, it makes sense to me, especially if they're saying that yeah. it's to camouflage her in some way. I, I think it, I think it's right. right. And calling it baffle weave, yeah. which is Logical. like, you know, you're trying yeah. to, yeah. 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 Logical progression. Totally. Yeah. But, and uh, then you found a couple of other ones, right? That use similar mm -hmm. patterns that I had never heard for, I had never heard of before. These from the comics. Yes. Um, yeah. Catriona graph um, and Xylan graph. You know, these are uh, High Republic characters. Um, okay. So, yeah, they're not super popular, but, you know, as we get the Acolyte and as we get, uh, you know, more uh, more light shown on uh, the High Republic, I think, like, they'll become, you know, larger parts of the story. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, it's like, you know, the images that you can find on Wikipedia of Catriona, um, don't show the the full picture, but if you look at the Star Wars High Republic character encyclopedia, which yeah. I have in front of me, um, and that, that nobody can really see uh, because we're oh, listening yeah. to podcast, but <laughs> uh, they try to figure this out there. Wow. So yeah, yeah, this is kind of like that uh, the black and white uh, baffle thing, but it's you know, a different kind of, it's almost tribal and, it, and like her yeah. face is, uh, you know, Maori tattoos. And uh, it's just, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm in love with this. You know, if, if I could wear something like this, uh, you know, just at the pool or whatever, like this would be my go to get I think up. you could. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm constantly trying to find, you know, patterns that fit into Star Wars. Because, um, mm. you know, it's so few and far between, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and my, my other go-to, so, like, um, is uh, Sana Staros. And she's got, you know, her outfit is black. She's got brown gloves, brown boots, but this green scarf with, mm. uh, you know, this kind of, like, geometric pattern on it. Mm. And so I've, I've tried to um bound that uh and and i i think i've done it a little bit um yeah. but like that's you know i'm just like whenever i go to joann's or whatever fabric store like you know i'm always also looking for that stuff yeah yeah it's yeah. really interesting that they keep revisiting kind of a very um right angle kind of diamond pattern yeah um, i didn't notice that 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 was kind of a, a reoccurring thing and mm -hmm. i do love um Catriona's sort of uh maori inf influences because obviously all of the uh clones and the mandos are mm -hmm. take from that kind of um 
culture as well, not take from, but are inspired by, um, from what right, I understand, yeah. they're, like they're meant life, to be, yeah. they're meant to be sort of Maori warriors. And that's why they went with, um, you know, that, that, uh, the archetype yeah. with, um, Django, who yeah. is and from Morrison, New Zealand. Yeah. 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 There's another one in um, The Force Awakens, right? It's Dasha Prementi, I think is her last name, right? Where she's mm-hmm. she's part of that, um, it's like a very small snippet, right? That village that the First Order comes into and they're searching for, uh, they're searching for the people that have the map to Skywalker, right? And like, so she has like this tabard that's diamond patterned as well, that's like woven. Uh-huh. And like, she's caught my eye recently in the past year because I was like, oh my God pattern <laughs> yeah a woven yeah. pattern um but yeah it is interesting that they keep with that kind of that same idea of pattern um, yeah i think they i think they get to play a lot with these sort of background characters where they don't have to obviously they're from yeah. um they're from villages they're sometimes working people they're mm-hmm. they're spies they're saboteurs they're so they they kind of have to differentiate them from the heroes that we see, mm-hmm. you know, and, right. and from that sort of, you know, archetypal look of a yeah. hero or a villain um, and give them something that makes them sort of stand out, which I think is, yeah. is really great. There's a bunch of stuff also in, in Clone Wars and Rebels. They obviously travel around. Um, mm-hmm. There's a whole like, I don't know if it's like a couple of seasons or it just happens dotted in. Um, but it feels like there was a there was a, a long run in the Clone Wars where they were just traveling from planet to planet, kind of helping these uh, villages that that are in trouble, similar to to mm-hmm. what happened in the Mandalorian as well. When he goes to where they're everyone's sort of dressed in blue, amazing. Um, where they're kind of uh, monster of the week, like they just need to like save this, you know, yeah. save this village because the Empire is taking their melu runs and like. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, which which they have a lot of fun with, and there's so much more color, and and um, and I'm sure that there's like some pattern in there as well. Rebels was also really mm-hmm. good about that as well. Um, yeah, showing a lot um, more so color was, and a lot more pattern. So was Resistance. So I don't know, mm-hmm. like not oh, many yeah. people actually watched Resistance, but like I'm going to throw some love out for Resistance because I thought it was a great show. Um, yeah, you know, has that that kind of anime style. Uh, art to it and it just I thought yeah. it looked really good um, but yes lots of color in that one uh, yeah so um, yeah so it's it's out there you know it's definitely out to, there you have to dig a little bit right yeah it's in the corners it's all it's in the it's in the crevices <laughs> yeah but it's out there yeah, yeah. And, and and so I think I would like to see more color in you know our our outfits uh, you know, yeah, for cosplays or whatever. yeah. Call I always have a lot of fun when I when I try to sort of go outside of my comfort zone with color. Like I've been, as of recent, I've been trying to do full like uh, like color stories, you know. And and right. um, there was one one that I did that had um, sort of this just all blue burgundy wrap. Supposedly it was me, you know, having to answer for something. Uh, in front of high command and uh, mm-hmm. it just it it felt so right but it's also a departure from the browns and the you know and mm-hmm. and the just sort of natural colors um earth, earth tones yeah. and whatnot uh, right. so it is a lot of fun um it is a lot of fun to do and there's so much there's like there's beautiful teals in star wars as well not only yeah. in droids but also in armor and and okay. um i think the um the Fallen Order and Survivor games, like with all of the changes of clothes that Cal Cal Castus has, they really play with like color. A, a lot of the times it'll have one, not one outfit, but you know, they'll have 10 different outfits and each outfit comes in five different colorways, which is always like mm-hmm. amazing. And you can mix and match from all the different uh, full outfits. You can get pants from this one and a top from this one and a jacket from this one. 
um, and really mix up your outfits. When I was playing that game, I changed my clothes every single time. <laughs> but I would boot it up just and I would do Survivor could. Sundays <laughs> just because I could. I mean, what? Who am I? Like, of course I'm gonna. Of course I'm gonna do that. So I would do Survivor Sundays yeah. and post my outfit in the, in the stories of like what Cal was wearing that week because I would play every Sunday. I love um, it. Uh, so there is, there's just so much color. There's, there's like beautiful, right. rich tones and, and, and really uh, amazing jewel combinations. Yeah. 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 And really great combinations. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also wonder if and just, yellow. Oh, ooh, yeah. Love that combo. <laughs> I also just wonder if, um, you know, like we've watched Star Wars grow from this very low budget one film, right? Where I think they were being very symbolic first of all, with the coloring and second of all, with the mm -hmm. budget. Right. So like, I, I feel yes. like we've almost watched this ramp up because like really in this last show and like, I went nuts over like those market scenes and over mm -hmm. the, the scenes of the witches just in their daily life and being like, wow, yeah. color, like some rich, rich colors. Um, and I do, I do wonder if we're kind of getting more of this ramp up to maybe we'll start seeing like they talked about how they were like used yeah. different color for the jedi and that and everything and i was like well we see more going forward more detail for sure yeah i mean think yeah. think of like the original trilogy think of when they first went in the in the theatrical version mm -hmm. uh before it was redone think of when they were going to like mos eisley cantina mm -hmm. it was like empty there was like a building they they mm -hmm. walked right past there wasn't the that hustle and bustle. Yeah, of like, yeah. I know it's Tatooine and it's not quite as populated, but um, there wasn't the same level of, of mm -hmm. texture and hustle and bustle yeah. and, and, and detail. Yeah. yeah. I well, also I mean, believe... like, yeah, but then you like, uh, you know, Go turn ahead. on Kenobi and the opening scenes of that, like most Eisley is huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Geez. Yeah. I also feel like we're in this different era where like, like everyone just got back from San Diego comic-con. Hi dad batch. Um, and like, I had so many people, lovely people. Thank you for everyone who did this, but they sent me photos of a bunch of the costumes that awesome. were from the acolyte that were not behind glass, which was also lovely for the people who like put that together, made that decision. Um, and, and it's like, it went from, you know, like they recovered Princess Leia's Senate gown from someone's attic, right? At some point in time, because mm -hmm. no one knew it was going to be a big deal. And now it's like, we need to put these costumes immediately on display for people to get mm -hmm. as close as they possibly can to see every detail. And so I think it's also like the history of the behind the scenes of like, I think the designers are starting to be like, oh, we can pull in more. We can make these more details. We can like, yes, you won't see them on the screen, but someone's going right. to see them at Comic-Con, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. like, I wonder if that's playing into their choices yeah. of, yeah, let's put some more, some more textured fabrics, some more woven patterns in there different colors i don't know i'm just curious so yeah i, I think like, you're you're right yeah yeah i mean they know it's going to be I, seen mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it's 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 an art it's, piece that yes will be in this film but it will be seen for generations to come in museums and stuff so art books all that right yes so, yeah it's oh yeah speak of speak of books if anybody has a copy of dressing the galaxy no. they want to send to me yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah, with that right. Double extra copies. You're just looking for <laughs> right. you know, Those are take up dust. <laughs> we are good uh, home. Lost. <laughs> I know. Right. I look on eBay every once in a while, I'll be like, is there any chance oh, that someone else just didn't know what this was? <laughs> uh, yeah. No. No. They're so uh, expensive now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're yeah. crazy. So, yeah. So, to the folks who have them, you're lucky. <laughs> Yeah. And we envy you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's always YouTube. YouTube's really great for people that that just yeah. do straight up flip throughs of books. Mm -hmm. Um that's mm -hmm. a lot of the times when I don't when I want to see what's in one, but I don't really want to mm -hmm. like buy one. Yeah. Um they'll just do page by page yeah. really slowly and that's flip fantastic. through it. I you can, you know, that. put it full yeah. screen, you can get a screenshot, a screenshot uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> ramp it up to, to 4K. Um, yes. Yeah, and get yourself a detailed yes. little little shot of it. I also think our library. I need to check out, but I think the Seattle Public Library has them. I need to look at that. Mm -hmm. um, and then my my yeah. favorite trick is using my iPad 
in the dark, completely dark room and taking pictures with my phone. I found is the best if you are looking to grab screenshots like and you can't. Okay. I don't know there's high tech ways to do it. But like this is, <laughs> why, like, <laughs> this is me. Yeah, I don't know how to use technology. Right. But like for folks at home like that, that's why I got a lot of our screen grabs for um, the accolade. Actually, am I just sitting in my den and like in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> I did figure out how to do that, by the did way. Did you? Okay, all right. You're gonna have to. <laughs> well, I gotta send you that information, yes, and I'll spread it you. out. I'll put it in the in the squadron chat as well. And if anyone Perfect. wants to know, it's really easy. Yeah, I just looked it up. It's on YouTube. <laughs> Perfect. It's yeah. It's really. It's it's Love actually it. really simple. That's how. That's how I got the um. Some the I'm on the hunt for those Andor loafers, yes. and I don't know why. Yes. I think it's now just I'm just curious. Um, they yeah. have to exist, Someone's right? Something. Yeah. They do, they do, they absolutely do. And someone sent me a pair um, that I is so oh, so okay. close. So we're we're right there. But that's how I right. got those screenshots because I was like, I need to look at this Good. very closely. Yes. Yeah. Uh, someone sent me a pair, um, and they're Zappos brand. Oh. Okay. Um, so not that expensive, um, mm -hmm. but they yeah. have the same. We're getting into something else, but they have the yes. the because uh, I'm obsessed okay. with it. Yes. But they have the, <laughs> the the rubber sole, which is a driving sole. Um, it is it's as if the driving shoe. It's as if they took a leather flat and put rubber like knobs on it on the bottom yeah. essentially yeah. right there's no other way that i can explain it yeah. and these All in right. particular are inset on that bottom mm -hmm. sole so they're not like a traditional driving loafer which has rubber up the back of the heel you know because you're 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 on the pedals and everything right it's they're inset. I don't know how else to sort of explain yeah. it. I'm sorry, yeah. people who aren't watching, but it's, it's, it's like this, right? And then it's like knobbies, like in the middle, okay. right? Okay. Um, yeah. So someone sent Many me a pair, and they're almost. That. Yes. Um, yeah. Someone sent me a pair, and they're almost exactly, except that the rubber pattern is different. So I'm maybe thinking there might be a male. There were women's shoes, but who cares? Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Right. As we've talked about. Uh, size up. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting. <Yep. laughs> oh, hey, man, you can't find, like, you know, tall black boots no. for guys. We were talking yeah, about this. Yeah. Yeah, like or brown boots. I still haven't found we... tall brown boots for guys. Sorry. So. Like, can fashion, I, no, just, this, this... The fashion industry just start making, like, tall right. men's boots a regular thing? Yeah, yeah. what's these? the problem? Like, Why do I have to go to a... It's Why do I have to go to an equestrian store? I know, I know. Well, Star Wars uh, cosplay people. Like, those are the only are people so many who want. <laughs> no, um, okay, let's get back on track. To yeah, yes, yes, like, sorry. yeah, absolutely. This is the shoe episode. Fabric. You've already had <laughs> the shoe episode. We've had the will, multiples. We always get trapped in this. That's the problem. We're trying to be comfortable. We're just trying to be comfortable. Okay, so here's here's a question for you. All right, so yeah. Star Wars has an archetype. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's muted colors, it's earth tones, it's yeah. some jewel tones. Um, you know, with with these characters that we've mentioned, we've we're starting to see kind of like bigger bold patterns. Mm -hmm. What so that that is Star Wars. What is off limits for Star Wars? So this kind of goes into the episode we're going to do on the mods <laughs> because <laughs> I have my opinion, they're, they're, and it's not popular. I mean, they're canon, so. <laughs> I know they're so, canon. Yeah, and so, they're and I'll repeat canon. this in in that episode uh, that we're I think gonna film right after this. But I feel like if you are trying to make this vast galaxy with multiple like populations, multiple people, like I don't think anything is off limits Be because you're you're trying you're trying to like. <laughs> I think if you're trying to make the people that varied, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think there's a I think there's a spectrum, right? And I think there is a wide, like, there you know, there's a there's a wide stretch from from one side to the other, and uh, I kind of I kind of think one can stray too far. That there is there is a way to stray too far, right? I think. Um, for me, I think anything that's like too oh, and and this is this will be a perfect segue for this other character that, that you wanted to talk about, Court. But like, I think once you segue into a little too far um, into tech, 
uh, mm. with regards to um, like cyberpunk, I think you've gone too far. Okay. Um, I think yeah, that's a that, yeah, that's, separate I mean, that's sort of genre. genre. Yeah. Like, like, yes and no. To me, that's to me that's that's cyberpunk. You know, there's. <sighs> I think it's slightly there. Wow. I think it's I think it's definitely that look of like, of course, that look of neon and everything, and and and. Mm-hmm. Um. But there's uh, there's something that I don't know. I'm gonna put my hands up. I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is a way to stray too far. I think the game Cyberpunk 2077, there are some things which are like, oh, that would be cool if there was if it was in Star Wars. And some stuff is like, why you got lights on your collar? Like, what what is that about? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you um, but this character, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what's uh, so it's Esther Rose McGregor. So it's uh, Ewan McGregor's daughter mm-hmm. and uh and she plays uh oh god who is, what's her name uh tetha 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 grig uh, mm-hmm. so second episode obi-wan kenobi series um and i mean so yes they're on Dayu, um which to me this planet is cyberpunk um you know and uh and so, I don't know this character. You know, at first I think it's great that like his daughter is in there and like trying to sell him some, uh, some like glitter stem and and Felicia. <laughs> you know, like uh, those are it's just fantastic. But um, you know, a lot of the background characters here, you know, synthetic fabrics. Uh, you know, it looks like kind of plasticky type of stuff. I love that. You know, everybody is. Uh, just weird and it's like it's super weird but she has this uh kind of like macrame fuzzy cardigan uh that kind of like matches her hair and then trails down into some yellow pants that look tie-dyed and maybe somebody can, can yeah, correct I did me on that but like those pants look tie-dyed to me so yeah. Well, she looks tie-dye like she cannon? looks like she's question mark. <laughs> he's tie dye cannon. Uh, well, there has been. I think the the Endor camo is not really camo. It's a bit closer to tie dye than it is camo. Mm. Um, I know it's kind of just sprayed on. Did we lose Kate? <laughs> I think we did. Oh no! <laughs> I was I was uh, looking up uh, on Wikipedia, but I came back and she's not here. Uh, <laughs> let's let's pause for well, a minute while she gets back on, and we can just edit this part. Now I think we'll start think... over. Oh, she can see us. She can see us. Did did your did your? Well, this part, I guy, Rami, I'm terribly sorry, but I think this will have to be <laughs> edited out. Um, so you can see us. So is your camera? No, but you're no longer in the little blocks. If your camera was turned off, then. Wouldn't it just be turned off and but still has a little square? Uh oh. Ah. What do we do? Okay, I was a little so harsh she's, about she's that. here, but waiting. Yeah, um, I got kicked out and I'm back in, but waiting. Okay, so Raimi has to let her in. She's backstage. Yeah. So we can't stop recording um, because this is meant to be one long record because, you know, then Remy will have to start it up again, meaning like um, start up another room. Yeah. Um, so, yeesh. yeah, let's, uh, I let's don't just know. Um, give me, give me your opinions to... on. Um, well, I would say give me your opinions on side eye, but I, I don't want Kate to not be able to jump in. And, right. So. Um, Kate, can you message Ramey and see if he can just, you know, let you back in? Because if you're backstage, he's got the, you know, he's got the button to put you back in. And maybe I was being a little too harsh on, like... <laughs> on cyberpunk but it's like there's like it's i see what you're saying but it's not mm-hmm. all it's not like that game you know i don't yeah. know if you've ever played cyberpunk 27 2077 but it's like that's 
feels completely different to me. It's like the difference between they're very close. They sort of fly next to each other, but they they don't. And there's a little bit of crossover, but it's like that. Um, it's like that movie, The Creator. Did you watch that movie? No. Uh, it, it's it just came out. I think it's like some of the same production people from Star Wars. Um, was it Ryan Johnson that did it? Um, you know, who directed The Last Jedi. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting like a memory recall of it, but I watched that movie and it's ve- it's it's sci-fi, right? So it's all going to have, yeah. it's going to have overlapping things. And there's some things in it that feel very Star Wars and some stuff that's, that feels very inspired by. And then there's other stuff that just feels kind of generic sci-fi. And I don't think Star Wars is generic sci-fi. I think they have a very clear visual language, even if they mix it up from, from time to time, it still kind of feels like it slots in and it's, it's, you know, I don't know, it's an opinion and it's, and it's kind of like more of a feeling thing than, than anything else. Um, yeah. I'm I'm going through um, images of cyberpunk and uh, you know, there's elements, you out. know. There's definitely elements, like, but but yeah. I do think that that there's a distinction. The same same as like um, what would work in Star Trek wouldn't necessarily work in Star Wars. Like, there's they butt up against each other, but there are you know there are clear kind of. Um, you know, not boundaries, but you know what I mean? There, yeah, there, the, there are the different visual language. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think, um, yeah, I don't know. There's some stuff that fit, would fit right in, you know? Mm-hmm. And especially in a, in a planet like, you know, that tends to sway a bit more city, a bit more young, a bit more, you know, metropolitan yeah but yeah um oh no (laughs) should we yeah because because you have you have like a hard out right um it's a it's a soft out okay um but yeah i can only do one episode okay so (laughs) Uh, yeah so i mean but we'll come back uh you know do more yeah, absolutely. Um, Whenever you want to come back, you let us know. As a matter of fact, like you know, whenever we record, if if you want us to let yeah. us let you know, we're we're yeah, we're going. Um, I kind of I kind of wanted to segue, um, you know, this talk about, um, you know, color and everything into uh, the actual characters. So uh, you yeah. know, we do see a lot of color in the characters. Um, you know, Pantorans, uh, mm-hmm. Twi'leks, you know, like um, Dathomirians. I mean, Darth Maul is just, you know, huge patterns on his face. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe. We oh, yeah, you're right. There's blues, there's, there's greens, there's episode. yellows. Like, I love a yellow to- Twi'lek. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, it's, it's something Man, else. yeah. So, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably like another episode, but like I, I so want to like do more aliens, and and like that's why you know like my character is uh, a Claudite, so I can shape shift. Um, yeah, and uh, and so I've, I did the Pantor, and I was like, uh oh, this is a gateway drug right here. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, when I was, when I was, um, I'm still sort of working on that on that merchant. I got to finish that hat. Um, because that's a big the big part of it but my dream would be for that to be an alien and not a human that's why i'm covering my face so much in in that mm-hmm. like i don't want to i want to be kind of faceless i even got one of those um um it's very those in black both. masks yeah those black masks that like you could see right through but they can't see your face I, i've even oh. got that so that i can completely disguise myself but i would love to be like a Rodian merchant. Hey, yeah. Oh, she's back. I don't know, Billy. I mean, that, that black mask, it, it might be a little cyberpunk, though. Ooh, well, okay, it'll be completely, no, it'll be completely covered. <laughs> it's completely covered. It's it's what I, it's what I would wear, uh, like, uh, underneath a helmet as well. So it's not something that I would take off and show. It's not part of it. It's just to disguise my face, to obscure my face. 
because I've got the netting. But then, but then when you're like, you know, putting these pictures up in 4K, people are going to realize like, uh, <laughs> there's that's a mess. When so people are screenshotting cool. your Instagram. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. When that happens, yep. because that happens. It happens. <laughs> Where'd you get that cyberpunk mask? <laughs> Oh no! So, do you want to go back to discussing cyberpunk and? Yes. Why don't you give you give us your your opinions on it? I felt like I was a little bit too harsh. I just think like you know, I I okay. never want to be harsh. I, I I feel like I always get messages after the episodes, and people are like, "So, you don't like this, huh?" Oh and I'm really? Like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, no that's, like, that's not what I meant. Like I'm 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 not like the the. the you know, I'm not the final word on this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just you your opinion. Yeah. Yes, you like, are. You, you, are but you are the final, like, <laughs> not. Off the Rack <laughs> Rebellion <laughs> is the final word. Yes. Oh, no. no Casual no, cosplay. No, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. <laughs> <laughs> of the completely unlicensed, anxiety. <laughs> My anxiety. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey. But, Kate, we even did it. I think uh, it was in the last one where, or no, a couple of episodes ago, uh, uh, episodes ago, you were like, you heard it here first when I said something. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, uh, so I, I immediately after the last episode, I immediately posted a photo of me with um cargo pants with the pockets on the sides <laughs> just to show that oh, like, yeah. I, we I do know. it. I've got them too. Yeah. No, I'm too. I'm with you, but I'm not a I'm not a side cargo pants person. Um like all of my pants, so my even my like daily wearing pants are uh, Fjall Ravens, and they're yeah. the, the Greenland mm -hmm. jeans. So Fjall Ravens, like they they do a lot of like moto style hiking yeah. pants that look really cool. I can't really get into like the the duotone color blocked pants quite yet. I'm I'm like I'm trying to find. A, the right pair that's my size and everything uh, but they're you in something that's color block don't you have a pair of pants that, that kind like of, yeah that i okay, like yeah. i've okay. i've cut up some pants and like you okay. know sewn some other stuff so um yes i've been there i've done that um i want to like you know explore it more but it's Devil. like theirs are like oranges and blacks and i'm like yeah, oh yeah. you know mine bold. is like well again yeah, these bright colors tan. right mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so like yes. i'm i'm like i'm looking for the right look uh, but they have a a, a jean, the Greenland uh, pants that just have like one cargo front cargo pocket on the right leg, and yes. those are like my go to daily pants. I've got them in three colors. Nice. So, yeah, I'm with you on the cargo pants. By the way, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that, my that's defense, like the cargo pants that into, I wore were yeah. asymmetrical, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I think that those little things, one or the other. like a little bit of asymmetrical or a little bit more of like a pleating detail or a little bit more of like, like maybe the pockets are on the front instead of the sides. It it takes the cargo pant from our 90s teenage years, because I think we're all the same age, and then it mm -hmm. shifts, right? Like it's not saying mm -hmm. that yeah. you can't use those. It just gives it that extra little Star Wars slant that it's something familiar, but it's a little bit different, right? Like it's not, it's not carbon copy earth 1990s so <laughs> right you heard it well, i think first. i think billy and i heard it here first <laughs> Ramey, we're keeping this part in by the way <laughs> <laughs> i think uh, billy and i also kind of grew up in uh skateboarding culture yeah. and so yes. like, yeah. everything in like mid 90s was super baggy mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. yeah and, and totally. it's just you know, yeah. if we're talking about what's not Star Wars, maybe maybe that's one of the oh. things that's not. Mm -hmm. I guess well, until you go like, you know, marketplace denizen. I guess then yeah. like the, Even Jedi. the linen gets well, flowy and yeah. And, yeah. and I feel well, like, like we've talked pants. about that. Like I feel, I feel like, like everybody's feel like, pants are tight. Yeah. Yes, and they're like they're very. And I wonder if that's because it goes back to that Han Solo silhouette, right? Like that was mm -hmm. the original silhouette, Han Solo. And then we talked about like Lando's. Lando had a flair and uh Dragon mm -hmm. Voss has a flair yeah. and that kind of takes them more into like this fancy businessman. But that that tapered cut of the leg, we interpret in Star Wars as you're the adventurer, right? Mm -hmm. You're the scoundrel. Yeah. But when we go more billowy, like flowing, oh, like man. like you know, bloomed, Lando with his glasses. Right? Well, yeah, 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 true, true. <laughs> but like the pants, her pants, I feel like that for that lower layer, 
that's where we're yeah. reading like, oh, okay, you're you're a denizen, you're a you're a very folksy character in the background, um, or you're a Jedi who just wears flowing robes. So, um, mm -hmm. I feel like the silhouettes are very coded, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. And you brought so up you brought up Lando, which is yeah. uh, another master of color, like and synthetics. Yes. I, dare I, I mean, it's like right? like yeah, yeah. I would so I would put him up there. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally forgot about him, but yes. I mean, I've I've done a a, a Lando ish mm -hmm. character. You know, Loved that's it. another thing. Like, you know, that yellow shirt with the uh, the Minox on it is yes. just beautiful and right. i would love to find something like that like mm. you know i would i would wear that as a regular shirt right you yeah what well, disney it's are like, you listening <laughs> so like you know it, like um, roosevelt's like yeah. Ro roosevelt's um oh, roosevelt. know, they do yeah i i would always say results too and then i yeah. saw uh, somebody uh, i heard somebody pronounce it uh, and i was like oh it's roosevelt's so yeah. um yeah. So like they make uh really cool stuff, but then it will say like Star Wars on it or yeah. something like that. And I'm like, I I want in universe stuff. I don't want it to say yeah. Star Wars on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. Same. But you get that, you know, from like these other brands sometimes, like the like is it a scum and villain? Wait, who is it that no uh heroes and villains? Sorry, scum mm -hmm. and villainies yeah. are another yeah. guy. <laughs> heroes and villains, sometimes you get the good looks. That's actually who I want to make. Um to make May slash OSHA's um, loungewear, right? Like, I feel like they mm -hmm. do loungewear very well. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lando, he's got he's got some synthetics. He's got some colors. He's got some sleekness to him. That Yeah. So do you have to go, you know, as you guys said, do you have to go moneyed to, to bring in the synthetics? Mm. Or, I don't know because uh, right? I was since that last episode I was right. thinking about the telephone um, was also cutting in on my headphones. Oh, oh. I, was calling. <laughs> uh, I was thinking <laughs> of the Canto Bite scene. Oh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. because we were talking about money, and everyone in there is money. These are yes. you know weapons manufacturers. These are uh, yeah. uh, you know owners of of starship manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Like these are like people profiting on on these wars um you know if people miss that message in the movie but, um, yeah. <laughs> um they are the real bad guys um mm -hmm. but yeah they were all like you know there was there was a lot of a uh, lot of um trim a lot of synthetics a lot of a lot of patterns a lot of i'm sure we can probably find some of that diamond pattern as well like i have probably. to go back and watch yeah. watch the sequels yeah. again because they're great Definitely. there's a lot of black and white as well mm -hmm. in that antibody right it's very mm -hmm. It's very striking. I, I've been researching that because mm -hmm. of this Helsicon that's coming up in like one of my mm -hmm. character overlays is what I'm going to call it because it's supposed to be my character incognito. I'm mm -hmm. like oh, trying yeah. to step it up as a very fancy, somehow moneyed business person. I haven't settled on exactly how, but because it has, it's something I haven't done. And so I've been studying that Cantabite scene and the scenes from um, uh, Dragon Vash is... Uh, Dryden Vash. Yeah. There we go. Thank Dryden. you. From like his like his party, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. that party okay. as well was very very moneyed. Yeah. Um, that yeah. party has sparkles, by the way. I don't know if you guys have <laughs> zoomed in on every <laughs> dress in that, and there are sparkles mm -hmm. in there. I'm like, oh my god, sequence. So yeah, I just was, I'm just like yeah. looking up at images of the Canto Bite scene, mm -hmm. and the like. Um, it is black and white, but then there are people with like those loud bold black and white mm -hmm. patterns like the mm -hmm. like the dazzle camo that we were talking about mm -hmm. yes. uh, so i think that's really cool there's some amazing costumes i just i, I want like a big bold pattern that's yes you know, you know I'm, that's I'm all he's asking for is this too much to ask for Come on. <laughs> yeah. i think if you want a backstory for your character because uh, i've been i've been rewriting my like expanding not rewriting i've been yes. expanding like my my character backstory um, cause you know, I had a couple of, of paragraphs, which is like the main beats, but now I'm like telling the story I'm writing it in yeah. a very weird way where I'm, uh, like I, I've sat somebody down and I'm telling them the story. So it's, it's kind of yeah. very conversational okay. And, okay. And, and I'm trying to do it that way. Um, but, uh, I talk about, uh, a casino scene and if you're looking for 
people who really should be very moneyed in this mm -hmm. universe like manufacturing is the way to go like yeah uh -huh. that's true if you're if you're making developing designing droids or mm. weapons or starships like um okay. so you might want to look into that if you don't want to be like a, you know in a criminal organization right you just right. want to have like a legit like yeah. job or not job but yeah. a legit like industry as a backstory like Okay. I'm going to be a textile manufacturer and just produce big, bold prints. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Synthetic fabrics. Gray there bolts of fabric. You sell them to the empire. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we produce. Yeah. Just gray. Obviously, business Black. isn't too good right now. So. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah it's, so, yeah, I agree. Like, you know, those um, manufacturers. Uh, so, when you get into the High Republic, um the money is in um the graf family and the santeca family and they are mm. they like own hyperspace routes oh mm -hmm. and so yeah um and wow. we see you know i mean that's these are families whose names kind of like span generations we see laura santeca in episode seven that's what I was going to say. He's like the, yeah. the first person, the first scene where um, Poe gets like uh, the the whatever files he is getting. Okay. Um, whatever information is, is that Laura Santaka? I knew I remembered that last man. name. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. I like that layering. That's great. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like through the eras. Oh, it's and fantastic. yeah, and the and the Staros family. I mean, you've got you mm -hmm. know from the High Republic, Gira Staros is a senator, and her daughter Avon is super duper duper smart, and okay. then you know that travels down to you know great 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 whatever Sana Staros. Okay. Who's cool. a great character? I had to I had to say great one more time. One more time. Throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's crazy that like some of these characters are now like bookended in the in the timeline, meaning like High Republic, and then they also appear in the sequel trilogy. So that's really great, especially yeah. because like um, I I sort of think of the High Republic as having a lot more um, vibrance of color, and also the New Republic ends up being that mm -hmm. way, as we see mm -hmm. like in Ahsoka and whatnot, like even in. Um, New Republic, um, you know, armies and navies, like when they're, when they're that scene where they're, um, Hera's having to answer for what she did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, even their robes and stuff, a lot, a lot of color, a lot of those teals, a lot of those jewel tones, like they kind of revert back to that like opulence. And I feel like that is always like, that is always the sign of like a decline when they start to get a little too, um, you know, a little too fancy for it mm. and lose sight on <laughs> lose sight on what they were fighting for you know anyway <laughs> so another they're way for them to use obvious. color in a coded way right to be mm -hmm. like That's oh true. look it's yeah. getting like they're they're not mm -hmm. focused on what matters right they're like mm -hmm. looking at fashion i don't know bureaucracy and fashion <laughs> i think are the are the, <laughs> the, the signs downfalls of, of, of the republic <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes. Gosh. That makes sense to me, right? Yeah. This is where we are now. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this isn't oh. a political show. It right? is not. It is not. <laughs> Star Wars. Nice Star Wars. and bright for everyone. Yay, yeah. <laughs> Yay we're having fun. <laughs> yes. Star Wars isn't political. Never. <laughs> um, did we cover everything you wanted to talk about about synthetics though I mean, yes we... yes we don't want to let you go until you have did we cover oh i don't want to go i want to stay um okay yes well, stay. but i do That's have fine. to go yeah i have to go though um i mean yes and no like there's always more to talk about um but yeah. i think we've covered the main parts um yeah you can always come back Wait. this is your home yeah <laughs> Thank you. Please Always come back. Welcome. I feel welcome. <laughs> Please come see us. I feel so, feel so welcome here. It's like you are, like, I, I'm going to, no. you are, are, you are one of my biggest inspirations and, and continue to be. Yeah. So 
you know, oh, thank you. Uh, you know, we connected very early on and we were spurring each other on and cheering each other on. And like, yes, and uh, I feel it's like I wouldn't fun. have jumped so far into this pool um, had it not been for your like encouragement and support and inspiration. So thank you so much for just being you, ma'am. You know, oh, totally. Yeah. And your oh, style, like pushing, goodness. just just pushing oh, the storytelling man. forward with your style oh, and the so style good. of the buildings. It's just. If anyone's not following him, go follow him. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, this this is who I look at. Like, I mean, this you is have who to, I look at. You know, you have to set the scene. And, yeah. and like, the, yeah. you know, the location is, a, you know, a major part of any story you're telling. Yeah, uh, I love that. So that's what I tried to do. I tried to, I tried to set the scene and then, you know, then tell the story through, the action shots or the the poses or or whatever yeah. big fan of action shots yes which you it looks like you're doing your own stunts these days I do. <laughs> like, oh. like, like, so that good. was such a good so job. yeah um and 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 we like i did that like 20 times um <laughs> Yeah. So it like it was, right. I was there with uh, with some new friends, and we were just yeah. you know having fun. And like that's one thing that I like. Like okay, if you, so if you go out by yourself and and take pictures, and you've got your little tripod and you know your mm -hmm. Bluetooth camera thing, and if you're, you're lucky. taking pictures, it's <laughs> it's all <laughs> fun. You, you gotta get one if you don't have it. I, like well, I kill just, them. I kill them. I oh. have them, <laughs> and they die. Well, one yeah. fair, it got clogged with sand in the you know Caribbean oh. Sea. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> actually, I think it was the Atlantic Ocean, but whatever. Yeah. So that, mine, right? mine just die. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> but I think it, you know essential piece of of uh, of, of kit. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then you know, so we were you know, but it's so much fun to like go out with other people and yeah. because then you know they have their ideas and you can bounce these things off of each right yeah and, and different people have it's different visions right yeah. yeah 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 it's so much fun so we like i like got to swing on that on those bars like 20 times and you know like <laughs> like swing out and like launch myself and land and it, it was super fun yes. yeah very cool awesome. yeah Okay, oh, so we yeah. will we, we have you back. Like, we have to yeah. have you back, right? Yes. <laughs> we'll continue this conversation. Absolutely. Um, please go and follow stuff. Noisy Morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. tell everyone uh, so, okay. they can find yeah. it. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Noisy Morning. Um, I also have at Prospectors underscore supply or prospector underscore supply i don't know i have to look it up because it's just like a uh like a, <laughs> Which a I don't little think I thing follow. just always in the background i don't know um okay. let's see i need to go follow that oh was that where you were um uh sort of setting up like a secondhand item shop yeah. or something yeah so amazing okay nice. uh prospector dot supply um oh, very okay. small because like, I don't want to invest any money in it right now. Um, and so uh, I can do everything and it costs me zero dollars, except for like, you know, purchasing secondhand clothing. Oh my and God. And you are going to do that me. anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. The, the horror in your voice. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. And you were following. I know. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize oh, it was you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, you know, I only like Don't put it in the me. chat and followed you and <laughs> you know, oh. sent you a DM about it. <laughs> I've only been begging you. Please come on. <laughs> no. Uh, so like yeah, I did put it in the chat, but like uh, our chat is so big now, and like it, you know, it like, gets big. And I haven't been going, going back going to just, like because like, sometimes I'll like be like, what I miss. Since I will, you know, oh, no. like since I went to sleep, and then I haven't been able to. This summer's been crazy and busy, and yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I'm like, I, you know, I said this in the chat. I've said this to Billy, but like, there are so many talented people just just in our little group mm -hmm. um, yeah. that you know, I feel like an imposter sometimes. Yeah. Oh no um, way! I think we, but, but we so do I. all like, feel it. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think it's, it's a universal are. feeling. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. 
That's true. I think it's it's great that we can be in this community and and you know uh, uh, escalator uh, yeah. and just you know keep going up. Uh, yeah. yeah, fantastic. Totally. So yeah, those uh, at noisy morning uh, at prospector supply. Perfect. Um, Follow him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness fantastic yeah so that's it. okay uh, and then uh, uh yeah i'm also on spotify but i haven't uh, oh great and you have the best not, playlist go yeah. follow his no, playlist not, oh my god let's let's edit that part out so we, we'll <laughs> talk about music like that's a whole other episode oh yeah that's a good idea okay we'll talk about music oh, in another one right i mean it's okay. not it's not passion, i love that but wait yeah it's, but i think it sets it helps cool. set the scene i think it's good it yeah. does it does okay yeah Blue okay Okay. Really, where can folks find you? You hang up first. I'm thinking about it. Find me at Billingmatics. That's where I am. <laughs> awesome. I am Kate Ryder. You can find me at One Scavenger's Wardrobe. Um, thank you to the Dad Batch for hosting, for Ramy for being our producer behind the scenes and letting me in when I get kicked out. <laughs> and uh, just remember that a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away can be right here and right now. <laughs>